Coach Elko is proving that he is an elite recruiter. We're going to find out why on today's episode of Locked on Aggies. You are Locked on Aggies, your daily podcast on the Texas A&M Aggies, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome on in to Locked On Aggies. I'm your host, Andrew Stefaniak. Appreciate y'all being here every single day. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On College for $20 off your first purchase. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by four star Texas AM running back commit DeAndre. Riding. So, I mean, DeAndre, first of all, really appreciate you being here. I was telling you before we hit record, uh, you know, first time we've had a, had a player or recruit on here. So I really appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um, and so getting straight into it, you know, I, I'll tell you, like I said, before, before we press record, I told you, I said, listen, when Texas A&M hired Coach Elko, I said, this guy is elite X's and O's. This guy is elite at developing players. Can he get the guys? Can he get the recruits? That was the only concern I had. And in what, six months, six months? I have already, already said, ladies and gentlemen, I was off on this one. He's knocking it out of the ballpark. So tell me this. What makes Coach Elko such a great recruiter? I think what makes him such a great recruiter is he don't say you no know, dreams. He don't mm-hmm. say no dreams. He's a real genuine person. And my first time being around him, I could tell that. And I know – I always loved AM. It's like been my dream school since Johnny Menzel. But when I first met him, I was like, yes, this is the place I got to be. Yeah. I mean, but it's just so funny to turn around. Like, I can't put it into words. Like, you know, like, here's the you know, you, some, you make a take, a sports take. And I mean, I bet you, you know, DeAndre, I bet you like tell your buddies, like, listen, like, you know, you know, LeBron's a goat, Georgia. Yeah. When, when you're having debates like that, everybody's got their takes on stuff. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like, I've never been wrong so quickly. Yeah. And not like I, said, I wasn't saying Coach Elko can't recruit. I was saying I got to see it. And he I, he proved that to me, boom, within 10 seconds that he, he he's doing. I mean, the class right now is currently sitting at eighth on 24-7 sports. Yes, it's really going great. So my next question for you is, you know, when you talk to recruiting people that are the real guys that do it for a living, they always talk about how important it is to lock down a quarterback early in a class because it helps get the running backs right. like yourself, get the receivers. What can you tell us about Hassan Longstreet? Do you know, you know how 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 well do you know him personally? What do you like about him as a player? I mean, but uh, we actually, I think we met Elko around the same time. We had I spent a lot of time standing on beside him, you watching the team practice things like that. And I, I was talking to him a little bit. He was telling me how much he liked the system, how much he liked Coach Klein. And I think by that time, I wasn't committed. Yeah. But I, I figured out this is the place I wanted to be. And by the looks of it, I know where he wanted to be. Yeah. So I think uh, around a month later, he committed. I was like, yes, this is what we needed. And ever mm-hmm. since then, we, we took off. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, you, you got to have that quarterback. It, it's always sure. you get the quarterback because here's the deal. Elite running backs like yourself, elite receivers, elite tight ends, linemen, they want to play with a great quarterback. And, exactly. and so it's really good to see that, you know, the staff locked down an elite quarterback so early. And now you're building the pieces around them. I mean, we're, we're, exactly. we're, we see you here in this class. I mean, it's just, it's, it's all around working out great to this point. So you brought up a name that I want to ask you about. And, and it's a guy that, you know, I, I've talked about the Colin Klein hype train. I, I'm thinking about making t-shirts. I, I'm I'm all in. I am all in on Colin Klein. I think he is, is a great coach. I People are not talking enough about him. So tell me, what do you like about him as a person, as a recruiter? And then what do you like about his offense and how it fits your style of play? Okay, I'm going to start with how I feel my style of play. Coach Klein is going to run the ball. <laughs> he's going to run the yes. ball. If you see what he did at, for Kansas State, you can tell yeah. he's going to run the ball. Okay, and him as a person. When I first met Coach Klein, we sat down. We didn't we didn't talk much about football. We sat down. We talked a little bit. Now the second time when I got to sit down with him, we went over the X's and O's, and when I said, "Yeah, he know what he's doing for sure." Yeah, and that's how I trust him. I trust him with me. I trust him. 
I mean, there's no question. He's a guy I, I've talked about, and I always forget the name of the award for the offensive coordinator of the year. But I'm telling you, Colin Klein's winning that thing. If not this year, soon. He he's gotcha. just a genius. He's Jeez. a great. The numbers, like I don't know if you've looked at his, you know like his offense's numbers from last see, year at Kansas see, State. They it. were absurd. And when he'd get in the red zone, they're scoring touchdowns. They're not kicking the yeah. Yeah, The numbers were incredible. And, you know, I guess another question to get really deep into kind of a football question for you here. You know, one of the most interesting parts of Coach Klein's offense is he loves to use, like you said, he loves to run the football, but he loves utilizing tight ends. Sure. How would you kind of – you know, because I've sit here and I, I've explained it, but how would you explain how the tight ends are utilized in his offense, and how does it help you as a running back? Because uh, you know, uh, in his offense, tight end is a weapon, so you got to respect them. You can't always play the run. You got to respect that tight end. You got to guard them. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, no question. And then, I mean, here's the deal: they're going to be helping create holes for you and, and the rest of the guys in the running back room, and sure. and that's great to have. So, you know. Football aside, like not when it comes to Coach Elko, I mean, you know, obviously he's a great coach. He seems like a great all around guy, but, but what, mm-hmm. not talking football, what is your favorite part of Coach Elko? What, what do you like about him? Just a human being. How he treats his players. Like mm-hmm. I said, genuine one person. Yeah. Coach Elko is going to love you up. He's going to be real with you, even though sometimes it might be hard. Yeah. That's what I love about him. But when it's time to be serious, he will be serious. It's yeah. like a switch that turn on. I love yeah. it. Well, I mean, it's great ha- having a coach who you know they're they're not selling you a dream. They're sell they're mm-hmm. selling you what what you're gonna have. It you really know what I mean? It's, it's nobody wants to be sold something, and it's not the reality they end up walking into. And that's just you, you don't do right by recruits if you do that. So it, it's just great yeah. to hear that that's what Coach Elko is doing. He's out here, yeah. you know, really really doing the right thing for his players and for his recruits. Um, and then. I mean, last question about Coach Klein I have, unless inevitably something pops in mind here a little bit later. You know, he he likes to get – last year, you know, he's going to have multiple running backs involved in the offense. He had, he had two guys last year. You know, how would you describe – there's different styles of running backs. You know what I mean? You got yes, your sir. speed guys. You got your guys who catch passes. You got your, your all-around guys that really do it all. I've obviously watched the film – I know you know how I would describe you as a running back, but how would you mm-hmm. describe your game? I would say I'm a all three down back. I can do anything. Pass protect. I got speed, power, whatever you need me to do. That's why I love close clients so much. He gets his players in space. Mm-hmm. And once the players get in space, they make things happen. Exactly. Exactly. Sure. And, and and that's the best. You know, I mean guys that can go out there, you don't have to pull them off on third down. That, that, that's the most that's the best thing you can be as a running back is versatile really is the football player flat out in general is versatile. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's definitely a great thing to hear. So, you know, I want to ask you a few questions here in a minute about the team when it comes to this season and, and get your thoughts there mm-hmm. a little bit. And we're going to talk about that coming up right here on locked on Aggies. But first, I got to tell you about our friends over at Game Time. So listen, those of you that listen to Locked on Aggies every single day know that I am a huge Game Time fan. If I'm going to a baseball game, if I'm going to a football game, if I'm going to a concert, if I'm going to see a comedian, whatever I'm going to see, I'm buying my ticket to that event on Game Time. I love how you can see your seat before you even get to the event. You can see your seat in the app before you decide what ticket you want, where you want to sit. I absolutely love that of the games map. And I love the prices. They can't be beaten. You got to go check out game time. Take the guesswork out of buying MLB tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account and use code locked on college for $20 off your first purchase terms. Apply again, create an account, redeem code locked on college for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. So, getting right back into the conversation with four-star Texas A&M running back commit DeAndre Ryden. So, DeAndre, here's my question for you. I want to ask you a little bit about the team this year. Okay. So, when it comes to the running back room this year, 
and I'll tell you this, you have some really good players in this room. I mean, all around, and I've talked about how you've got like four guys who could go to a handful of other SEC schools and start. You've got a room yes. full of elite players. We're talking with Le'Veon Moss, Ruben Owens, EJ Smith, Amari Gamble. All these guys are incredible. So what about these guys as a running back room stands out to you this year? How good do you think they're going to be? They're going to be very good. You can tell they're hungry. They want it. They want to win. And Coach Trooper, he pushes them guys to be great every day. I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah. <laughs> and and – um. And so, you know, speaking of your position coach, you know, Coach Trooper, mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you like about him? So, and then my other question for you, how much, you know, who was really, I know all the coaches will call you, who was the one that you would say really led in your recruitment? Was it Klein? Was it Coach Trooper? Was it Coach Elko? Who would you say led for you? So, like I said, when it came to your personal recruitment, I'm sure lots of guys were involved, but what coach would you say was the number one guy in getting you to commit to Texas a and I would say it would be a tie between Coach Rod, Eddie, and mm -hmm. Coach Trooper. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so that, that's great to hear. Um, and I think it's great when, you know, I've talked to some recruits before, um, and doing work at different schools and in different times. And a lot of times it's, you hear one coach get involved. It's great to hear that you want to get to know the staff. I mean, these are going to be your coaches. Hey, for three years, not four, right? For three years. <laughs> but, um, you know, and so these are going to be your coaches and, and you want to get to know all of them before you make that decision. So it's great to hear that lots mm -hmm. of guys were involved in that. It wasn't just, you know, coach Klein or coach troopers, a lot, a lot of guys getting in there and getting involved. Um, and then, so, I mean, another question, do, uh, do you have plans to attend any games this year, just either on a visit or just for fun with family? Do you have any plans to come to any games this year? Right now, I was so mad I couldn't make the Notre Dame game. Oh, that's not, what I was going to actually, I actually got a game that day myself, so I can't make okay. that one. That's so right oh. after this, I got to go look at the schedule and see what home games I can make. That's what I'm saying. Get like, you got to get out there. The Notre Dame game, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I'm just – I, I'm pumped up for that one. I'm I'm yeah. excited about that. That's going to be a fun game. And you know, old Kyle yeah, Field is going to be rocking. Rocking. You know, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to be uh, a Notre Dame player having to go play in that environment. It's going to be so loud. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be funny because, you know, Riley Leonard's the court, you know, Coach Elko's old quarterback is going to be the quarterback. Yeah. And it's like, I feel bad I having to root yeah. against him. Because he's a good dude, you know what I mean? And Coach Elko loves him, but it's like, all right, we're going to have to try and whoop you here. We can't let you come come to our home and, and beat us. Um, but, yeah, go go. there's a lot of good home games this year. You know, LSU's coming to town, look. Missouri, you know, Longhorns are coming to town. There's a lot of good a lot of good games at, at Kyle Field this year. Um, all right, so I got to ask you one out there question. Okay. Favorite place, favorite place in College Station to eat? Give me a restaurant. Mm, good question. I I ate at too many places okay. in College Station, but I have stopped at one place. Uh, I tried Dave's Hot Chicken. Everybody was talking about it. Mm -hmm. I give it about a I give about a eight out of ten. Eight out of 10. I mean, here's the deal: like ten out of tens can't be brought out a lot. So like eight out of mm -hmm. ten, that's a really good number. Yeah, like, you can't be floating around ten out of tens. Eight out of ten means yeah. like I was. Some really good foods. So no, I'll, I'll take that. We'll have I'll, I'll have to ask you again when you've been when you've been living on campus yeah, yeah, yeah. when you've actually eaten around them and say, all right, now I need a real update on what what the best place in town is. So for you personally, when it comes to your what are your goals as a player for this year in high school? What do you want to do to kind of wrap up your high school career this year? Well, first thing, three times state champion. Mm-hmm. Not too many teams did it. Um, I want to be leading rusher in six A football. Another goal of mine: uh, twenty plus touchdowns. Yeah, yeah. Those, yeah it's, it's about those, it. are some, those are some some. I, I, well, I know you're gonna you're gonna make them happen. But those are some great mm -hmm. goals to have. Yes, so, you know, I've got I've got another question for you for for, uh, for Texas A and M fans who might you know you might have some out of out of state people some some fans that live live elsewhere. Um, 
I actually have a listener every day from Idaho, which is always hilarious. We have an, we have an Idaho <laughs> fan. So yeah. And, and I always make, I always make fun of them. Cause I go like, listen, like, cause what I'm talking about here is this for people that are out of state, maybe grew up out of state and went to Texas A&M. How yeah. different is Texas high school football from everywhere else? It's fast. Yeah. The, the tempo is different. Yeah. And the, and the heat that you got to play in, mm-hmm. you got to be prepared. Yeah. And the size, and I mean, the size bracket is, I think the size bracket is different. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's just people always say, people always say like, you know, high school football is different. And it's like, you got to understand people aren't saying that to say that. Like it is, it is extremely crazy how different the game is is in the state of Texas. And I mean, 6A, I mean, you know, I mean, you're you're basically playing like at that point, you're you're basically playing like in a it, it, some low end D1 football at that point. There's I mean, competition. You know, if There's not competition. if not, like, you know what I mean? Like 6A football in Texas, you're pretty much playing in like you're right there around the Sun Belt. I mean, like that's what it is. And then your next step as a freshman is the SEC. You're right there. So you know, and then what other so here's my question for you you know what players on the team on the current team do you, did anybody have you talked to any of the guys what did anybody else have a role in getting you to Texas A&M other than coaches any players have a role uh you got Shamar Shamar mm-hmm. Turner with DeSoto High School the same mm-hmm. as me yeah uh he was the main one reaching out yeah him his uncle his uncle is like my uncle he he reached out a lot yeah <laughs> Yes, sir. So them two played a big part in it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know how that works. So a lot of times you're mm-hmm. you'll be in touch with those players, and it's good. Once again, I mean, building these connections, it'll just make it easier on you when you get up there, and and, sure. and all that stuff is, is really all around you just great. But I mean, so what would you say? You know, the transition. We just kind of kind of had this conversation a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're talking about you're playing in six A football in the state of Texas. But what would you say is the transition? To make the transition to college football when you're when you're there in a year, what would you say that you have to do? Do you have that like in mind yet? Have the coaches told you that? You know what you're kind of gonna have to work on? Uh, not really, really. They really want me to focus and adjust to things when I get there. But it, I, in my mind, the mindset I have is nothing too big. Get yeah. in there, work, keep your head down, and learn. Perfect. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm with you. I'm with you. But I mean, because that that it's not, that's good. It sounds like you got a plan for making that adjustment. Sometimes it, it's it's everybody knows the adjustment from high school to college is crazy for players. Not as much at six A Texas high school football, but still, <laughs> there's still a, there's still a transition there. So it's good to hear you have a plan in place. My next question for you, I'm going to ask you here in a minute. I'm I'm going to read some ads off, but we're going to talk a little bit about you know who are your buddies in this recruiting class. We're going to talk about that. Who are your guys? We're going to talk about that coming up right here on Locked on Aggies. But first, I got to tell you about our other friends over at Factor Meals. Warmer, sunnier days are calling. Fuel up with Factor No Prep, No Mess Meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-created meals with options that are never frozen always fresh you got protein plus you got keto you got calorie smart options it is the all-around best stuff if if you have some goals when it comes to weight loss if you just like to do meal prep the place you need to go is factor i promise you will not regret it head to factormeals.com slash locked on college 50 and use code locked on college 50 to get 50 percent off your first box plus 20 percent off your next month that's code locked on college 50 at factormeals.com slash locked on college get 50 percent off your first box plus 20 percent off next month your subscription is active also want to tell you about our friends over at ebay motors passion drive and patience the formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to make your car the MVP and bring home huge wins. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only, exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit, only available to U.S. customers. 
So back to our conversation with four-star Texas A&M running back commit DeAndre Ryden. So my next question, you know, when you're in these recruiting classes, you know, you make, you make friends, you, you got your buddies. So who would you say, who are your main buddies that you've made that are also committed to Texas A&M right now? Uh, everyone, um, everyone got a bond, you know, we're in this big group chat. We talk daily, yeah. but the two guys names I got to say is Landon Rink and Kevin Riggins. Mm-hmm. We actually, we actually got a good history. You know, we played little league football together. We yeah. grew up around each other. So we always just had that bond. So them, them two is my guys. Yeah. You know, it's funny. You know, Landon Rink is one of the ones I see him tweeting at, at players yeah. saying, Hey, you know, the move, you know, where you yeah. ought to be heading. Yeah. I see him all the time. I love that, man. I love, uh, yeah. I, I see you, you're, you're always tweeting stuff out, you know, Kelvion's, I mean, all, everybody like really um, Hassan's tweeting stuff out. It, it's great to see everybody helping. Here's the deal. in recruiting. There's everybody can help a little bit. And so seeing that y'all are out there putting those tweets out, uh, putting those tweets out and, and saying that it, it, it helps a lot. So, um, but it, once again, I mean, even it's great to hear that y'all have a little group chat, getting to know one another, um, yes. just cause that, that stuff's just going to help y'all, you, you know, you gotta be brothers on the field. You gotta be brothers right. on the field. That stuff's going to help that y'all are getting tight now. So when you're here, it's going to be great. Um, and then, I mean, I guess my next question for you, I've got time for a couple more questions here is, you know, would you say, when would you say, you, you know, it's a little different because you said you grew up, you know, Money Manziel, you wanted to go to A&M. But, yeah. like, what would you say sold it for you from this coaching staff? What was the moment you're like, I'm going to Texas A&M, nothing's changing my mind? When I sat down with Coach Troop, I met Coach Troop first. He actually mm-hmm. visited me at my school. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Then my main goal was to go down there and, and just fill out the rest of the staff. And when I sat down with Elko and talked to him, that's that's the moment I knew this is the place I want to be. Yeah. And I mean, and that's just so great to hear that that coach is able to to really, really, you know, I mean, sell you on. I mean, here's the deal. You know, you're gonna be here, like I said, three years. I'm not three years, not four, but potentially three to four years. And, and coach has got to be able to sell you on that vision and, and what your roles mean, what 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 you need to be looking for. And so it's great to hear that, you know, you sat down with Coach Elko and he said, listen. Like, here's the deal. I mean, that's just great to hear. It's great to hear that Coach Elko is selling visions to players, and, sure. and he's going to deliver on them. There's no question there. It's all around great to see. Now, I'm going to ask you one more question. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask you I, I'm gonna ask you two more questions, two short ones. Talk for a little bit. I have ta- This is how I describe Connor Wigman. I call him the best-kept secret in college football. Yes, Not enough people are talking about Connor Wigman. Any thoughts on the Aggies quarterback for this year? All I can say is a dog. You you finna see something different. You know, we didn't see him too much last year because you know the yeah. the injury, but when he's in he's back. He's back, and I can't wait to see him. Yeah, he's a special player. And then the last guy, the other guy, like I like literally go outside and just like scream this name at the top of my lungs because I need the world to know how special Nick Scorton's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any thoughts on Nick Scorton and what he's going to do this year? Uh, when I first when I went to the spring game and I seen how many times he got to the quarterback, I was like, he's going to be a problem. Him and yeah. Jamal, that D line, the whole D line is going to be a problem. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, no question about that. Well, DeAndre, we're going to call it a day right there, man. I really, really appreciate you man. being here. Listen, you can go follow DeAndre over on Twitter, over on X. His handle is right there. I mean, we can't wait to see you on the field. DeAndre is going to be a special, special player at Texas A&M. So, listen, we really appreciate you coming on the show today. I appreciate you. Awesome. That's going to do it for today's episode of Locked on Aggies. We will see you all tomorrow. See you later.